You are Captain Gabriel Lorca in Star Trek Discovery. I really like it. I was a bit worried, because you know that way you'd always be a bit worried before. Yeah, yeah. They were in the Star saw, Trek community, believe me, they were worried. I know, and then I saw the trail and I thought, it's going to be fine, and then I've caught up with all the episodes, and it's fan. Fantastic. But you don't like it enough to put on the uniform that we sent you, well, do you? Well, it, it was too wee. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the club. <laughs> That's the whole point. That's I the get test. I my boobs. I it, managed to get it up to there. And they then gave me mine. I, I thought it was for a doll. And they said, you've got half an hour to get into it. That's the test. You failed it. I've Sorry. failed. I can't be part of it. You're not going to be in season two. It's not going to happen. But I did really. I mean, you believe you, me, I tried. Oh, no. You on lay the on the ground. Trying to pull you it cover up, yourself but... in whale blubber and you have four people to wedge you into it and then you don't eat the whole <laughs> time just, you're shooting. You mustn't not eat because those uniforms are tight. Oh, no, you can't. Uh, there's no bathroom visits during the day either. Oh, you better, it's like a kid going on a journey. You better go before you start. <laughs> But, it's, but as you said, you have to satisfy the fans, the diehards, but also attract a whole new fan base as well. Yeah. And how have the Star Trek community embraced you? Well, finally, uh, not physically, obviously, but they have uh, thrown their big uh, arms around us. But Good. it took a while. There are some vocal... I mean, the people who are saying, I'm never going to watch this, are watching it every week and telling us why well, they're not going to watch the week Excellent. after. Excellent, that's what we Most like. Most of them that. absolutely love it. Because, of course. Uh, they were rightfully protective of this legacy, of this incredibly progressive show that they've mm. loved for 50 years, lots of them, or yeah. like longer. And, uh, and now, we're, we're, you know, now we're family. It's good. I'm glad. Mm. So it's, 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 there's going to be more, I hope. Oh, there's a lot more. I just love that thing because what it does, it's so, so clever. The, one episode will finish and then it comes up on your screen and the next one is in five seconds. That's how which they get isn't you. even enough time to make a cup of tea it's, and you're there. You just sit there. It's a gateway drug. That's how they, that's how they hook you in. <laughs> I know. But that's, that's how the world is coming to an end. We're all just going to sit and watch Netflix. <laughs> sit, and watch and, yeah. sit and watch and tell you, but that's OK. I have to ask you about Anthony, but Anthony Rapp, one of your co-stars. Mm -hmm. Very brave man, very brave man. I loved how well, you first said... first of all, he's a very brilliant actor. So oh, he's that, There's that to be yeah, said, but yes. You said he's your on-screen irritation and your off-screen inspiration and of course he was the first one to really whistle blow and to and to make um if you like we have to say allegations because we you know we have to say that and um, you can say that <laughs> you know we, we, Sorry, we yeah. do have to against against kevin spacey and that must have taken a hell of a lot of guts to do that he's an amazing uh, he's a very lovely guy uh, but he did this thing uh, by himself and uh, uh, but he did it for many other people. He'd heard yeah. lots of rumours. Yeah. He hoped that other stories would come out. There were a couple of days that they didn't. And now they have. Now there's a whole flood of them. And uh, just all power to him. We're all incredibly proud of him. I bet you are. I bet you are. Because, again, you know, that does take a lot... You know, when people have got a lot of power, and as we know, it's not just in movies and it's not just in Parliament. It's, it's everywhere. It's in every business, Speaking isn't out it? against power takes a lot of guts. It and really being the does. first person to speak out is heroic. I think. It's, it's hard. It's mm. really hard. We're also seeing you right now in Death of Stalin. Mm. That is... It's, I, I, you couldn't imagine that a movie about Stalin would be I, funny, I mean, and it's hilarious. It's, I read it and I felt guilty. I was laughing so much. I thought, I don't know if anyone else is going to laugh or they're going to stone us and burn effigies on Guy Fawkes night. But the, I was in such incredible company. I thought, well, even yeah. if it crashes and burns, look at the people I'm burning with. And, <laughs> uh, and it's going down an absolute storm in British cinemas, and people are oh, queuing so up and they're funny. expanding it all the time. Of course, the man behind the thick of it and, and Veep and all of that, you know, he's... He's, well, he's, a, he's a comedy god. He's been a comedy god for, yeah. for decades. But still, this is right out there and risky. I know. And see it before Putin closes the cinemas down. I yes, I think we should, because he might. He absolutely might. And he has got, yeah, but not even... What I loved about the guy I played in that, so there's a lot of... I come on with 100 medals on. <laughs> but the real guy, Marshal Zhukov, was the first guy to do that Idi Amin thing of wearing 1,000 medals. And he wore more than I wear in the show. So I don't know if you've got a steal of it, but I'm just literally covered in steel. He wore more. He had them up and down his legs and inside his undies and everywhere. <laughs> so, so it wasn't even as bad, no, as, it's the, not as, bad. as the reality? Everything that happens in the film happened in real life. Well, you, you see, that. It where, seems farcical. Exactly. But then maybe, you know, in another sort of 10 or 20 years, they'll make a movie about Donald Trump. And people I hope go, it's quicker than that. How, can that. how could that have happened? So they'll start with him in his jail cell, reflecting, <laughs> I hope. And maybe, uh, I can't wait for the, I'm maybe, to write maybe, that Maybe, maybe, maybe. Now, look, you've got Star Trek now, Harry Potter, obviously, of course. Basically, you can just now go from convention to convention, signing That's autographs. That's my ideal life. That's all I'd like to be doing, is carrying yellowing photographs of myself and signing them. Exactly. That's, it's always been my dream, <laughs> you to can go from if, convention centre to convention centre. You can if you want to. Thanks very much. I, mean, but people I have really, your permission. Yes, that. of course. Good. People love the characters. I, mean, I must buy shares in Sharpie. That's what I should right, for all the, for all yeah. the signing. Is, hasn't somebody got a tattoo of you? Or Lots of people character? have tattoos. Well, uh, the first time I ever signed somebody, they said, sign my arm. I said, well, that's going to rub off. You don't have a photograph. They went, oh, I have it tattooed. And I went, please don't do that. That's a terrible thing. And they went, I've got everybody else. And uh, they've got Hogwarts and everybody else all over them. Wow. So uh, now I always sign like my name on a grain of rice. I can't bear the idea that these of that somebody's, beautiful young people are of that somebody's got you. Look themselves. at that. Ah, that is a that's my wife. No, it's not my wife. It's not, <laughs> not true. 
That is astonishing, though. That's I mean, body art, to be fair. That's not a tattoo. Yeah, that is. But a... there are people. The worst one I had, I was at uh, Harry Potter World in Florida, and there was a huge crowd of kids and families who'd come for this launch of the DVD. And a woman said, uh, I was moving along the crowd, signing with selfies. She said, Will you sign my boobs? And I went, Lady, there's kids mm -hmm. everywhere. She goes, I have eight kids. And I said, Well, what would they say? And they all went, Sign them, sign them. <laughs> They're all right there. And I went, Put them away, put them away quickly. <laughs> yeah. So you had to do that? You may have to I do that to, as the yeah. captain as well. You may have to do that as captain. So it's captain a slightly different know. relationship you have with the fans. They're slightly older. Uh, yeah. They want to talk about the number of stripes you have and whether the phaser, you know, has three settings and stuff. It has to be right. Jason Isaacs, live long and prosper. Can you I? can do it. I can do it. I forgive it. you for not putting the costume on. <laughs> I would have loved to put the costume on. I, a bunch of people would volunteer to help squeeze <laughs> you in there, I'm sure. Maybe we'll do, we'll do that after. Let's start a poll. Let's do that after.